Hello everyone, Ziggler here, Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you like. Today I'm gonna show you my build that I'm actually playing as a tank in in uh, Season of Discovery so far. Um, this is insane, I, I really have to say. Uh, I didn't, I'm, not, I'm not playing the way I was intended because if you've watched my uh, like my plan in the way I was gonna level, it's not like that at all uh, after I got the new rune, which is this one. Um, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna sh uh, just show you in the background. Um, a fair warning though, um, in this build, I'm actually using Hellfire uh, that I learned on level 30, and I'm almost level 31. Uh, I would recommend to only use Hellfire if you're playing with a healer that you feel confident with, and um, and like always take note of your health because I'm always stopping it if I'm like below 50%. But usually it's like. I get a few ticks before it's interrupted uh, because I haven't learned the pyroclasm yet, which is the stun, which I'm gonna talk about even more because this is gonna be even more insane. But as you can see in the background, like I'm doing so much damage. I mean, I, let me see if I can zoom it in. I mean, look at this. Every pull I'm in, like, I mean, it, it, it's so broken. It's insane. I mean, when I'm pulling, with searing, with searing pain, if it crits, it's like 10% of their health. It's mental. I mean, just look at the health, the, the damage. It's insane. I mean, I really want to thank this group because this group was awesome. Uh, it wasn't like, it was nothing special. I know that there's probably like some elitists out there uh, who's gonna be like, oh, you should do a uh, melee cleave and, or spell cleave. Sure, it's, it's probably way better, of course, but I didn't form that. I, would you, would, I just joined something and tried it out. But I mean, if you haven't, I'm just gonna move this so we can have, we can see everything. Um, if you haven't seen the video where you unlock the dance of the wicked, make make sure to I, I'll try to put put it somewhere uh, right now so uh, you can click on it. How to get dance of the wicked? Because this rune is it's insane. I mean, with the build that we're playing, we're critting constantly, and the. Whenever we crit, it says you and your demon pet gain dodge chance equal to your spell critical strike chance each time you deal a critical strike to an enemy and also both gain 2% of maximum mana. And we're critting constantly with this build and it's, it's insane. I mean, when I have the proc up, it's like 16% dodge and it, it it's like I think it's up for like 15 seconds and it, it can continue to proc like I I in in, in the background yeah in the video I, I'd like I'm almost at full mana all the time and I'm never I'm never using a uh, life tap like I'm never life tapping we're gaining mana. Sure, I'm losing health because of Hellfire right now, but I can deal with that because uh, you you could probably go with uh, like my initial plan, which is Lake of Fire. But the problem is at the moment it's like the rank one Reign of Fire is so much more garbage compared to Hellfire. Sure, Hellfire you take damage, but it's not that much because you can counter that by like with the demon armor, and then I'm using the, what's it called? Uh, Mighty Troll's Blood Potion. And yeah, and then I have Elixir of uh, Firepower, and I'm also using like Lesser Firestone. Like there's so much going on on the screen that it's, it's, it's so much to take in. And I, I'm so happy right now that I chose to uh, choose, did end up picking Warlock. Which is, oh, I'm, I'm having such a blast with this spec. And I'm 
Mm. It's going to be so good. But the way I'm playing it is uh, a little bit different than I initially uh, was planning to do. I was talking about like Lake of Fire and using um, uh, like the Rain of Fire with the, the rune just because of the interrupts and stuff like that. But uh, now that the... I let, Let's pull, pull out a calculator so you can see it. You can see it here. Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger and I'll explain to you why. Because if we look at this spell, which is Rain of Fire, uh, let me just make this even smaller so you can actually see the text. So down there you can see Rain of Fire, it's 100 and, uh, 150, uh, wait, 174 damage over 8 seconds. So we just go like this, so 174 divided by 8 because it's 8 seconds, it's up. That's 21 damage a tick. Without like buffs, I, I'm not talking about the fire damage or anything. It's just what the tooltip says. Um, and th there might be some hidden like spell, like multiplications, but in if we look at the hellfire, it's 83, 83 fire damage every second. It's, it's, uh, what's that? Times, times four, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's four times, four times the damage when, for, from each tick. It, it's, it's so good. It's so good. And which even more fun is that we're not even using that. We're not even using Master Chandler either. I'm actually using demonic tactics just because with an extra crit. So I'm critting all the time it's like crit 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 mania it's insane i i know i keep keep saying it's insane but it is because we have 10 percent there and then we have the devastation which is five percent and then with uh we're gonna we're gonna get a little bit more searing pain later on and then we have this one that i learned on 30 so I remembered when I did ding 30 and like the damage is it went it skyrocketed with my searing pain it's so good I mean it's it's a bit more glass cannon but if you have the gear you could be and like bring some potions and stuff and a healer that you trust and uh, like tell them that you're uh, gonna try to be mindful of your hellfire and just tell them that uh, like I'm gonna take a little bit more damage but I would I wouldn't use it if it's like over 10 mobs or something like that because it can go pretty quickly but so far I haven't died a single time and I, I think I did I, I, I've done RFK like two times now with on level 30 so and so I, I'm playing with demonic tactics and the same thing over here. It's like okay, I I'm, I was planning to use the the incinerate just for the damage. But the thing is, like I I don't really like. It feels like you don't need it. And since we're pulling a lot, the I I thought the demonic grace was like three three like over two minutes or one and a half minutes. But it's twenty seconds cooldown. So it actually has a fourteen second downtime and it's it, it you get the dodge and you're also getting dodge from the dance uh, the dance of the wicked which is even more dodge so you're dodging all the time and you're increasing your crit from all attacks by 30 more percent so you're constantly critting in this build and the only time i'm putting up like agony corruption or immolate or any type of dot it's on a boss other than that it's like on poles i can do demonic grace um, and just searing pain everything and it's like 10 percent like bam 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 and then i have a threat on everything and then i use a shadow cleave and then just hellfire and it like they're they're getting melted away like sure, I, I I haven't tried yet to like first try to apply Lake of Fire and then use like Hellfire 
just for the 40% damage. But it feels like this is way more important because you're getting like this paired with this gives me more mana back. It gives me more uptime on the actual dodge from it. So it feels like in the end it's uh, because I'm using the Hellfire a lot. It feels like this is actually helping. I, I'm not sure though if while I'm channeling I can dodge. But like I'm not channeling all the time either. So it, it feels like yeah, I it, it feels so good. It, it's it's so good. And then of course on the hands we're using Metamorph, obviously, because we're tanking. But I mean I'm having such a blast with this build. I called it so early that we're gonna go destruction because the signs were too obvious. I mean, sure, we didn't have Dance of the Wicked. That was just way better. Because, uh, yeah, I'm half a bar. I have a, a half a bar left to level 31 with, when I'm going to uh, learn Pyroclasm. And that's going to be so good once I get the next run also. Because I'm going to take uh, the both ranks. So that's going to be a 26% chance to stun them for 3 seconds. So if you're lucky, you can get them stunned and just keep spamming like that. And then you're not taking damage either because if they're stunned, like even if it's just one or two, that's one or two less mo mobs or trash or whatever you like to call them not hitting you. So yeah, uh, like sure you could uh, switch it up and stuff like that. Um, I'm actually a bit con like considering actually dropping improved Firebolt and taking more into improved searing pain just because of the crit because it feels like my my i mean just look at the boss for example okay maybe not because that's actually my the the pet is doing so much damage like see look at the dots they're not the, like they're way down there Compared to my searing pain and the only only damage they did was when I like pre dotted and then I didn't reapply anything I just searing pain. It's such an easy Build and then you have the aoe taunt if like as a panic button But like I'm never using life tap anymore It's so good so yeah, I I'm very happy with my decision in going warlock and yeah, I if you have a mat, if you have a warlock with a metamorphosis, give it a try. Uh, like sure, uh, you could do it earlier than level thirty, but like it feels like once you're unlocking a few of these, like w once you uh, like try to get the dance of the wicked as early as possible, because it's gonna be so good. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this uh, short video. And uh, yeah, like I said before, if you haven't watched the video, how you unlock Dance of the Wicked, it's, it's under two minutes, so it's not a long video. Make sure to uh, watch that one. And I hope to see you in the future in the next video. Bork bork! Let's game!